Okay, so in this particular lesson, we look to find the volume of a prism. As we discussed, a prism is a solid object which has two identical ends. One of these identical ends is always considered the base. So the length between the two ends is typically considered to be the height of the object. The volume of a prism has a fairly straightforward formula. We must determine the area of the base of that prism and multiply it by the height, which as we said is the distance between the base and its opposite end. As you can see in the illustration of a rectangular prism in front of you, the length, the width and the height have been marked up. In this case, the formula is simply length times width times the height. As you can see in front of you, we have a rectangular prism with the attributes of 4cm length, 3cm width and a 6cm height. In order to determine its volume, we first revisit the formula which is basically the area of the base multiplied by the height. Once again, the base is defined as one of the two identical ends, while the height is the distance between them. Step 1 here is to find the base area, which is simply 4 cm times 3 cm. We then multiply that by the height, which is 6 cm, giving us a total volume of 72 cm cubed. 